What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we got another look at the House of Wolves expansion with a ton of really cool things inside including the Crucible, the Trials of Osiris, the Prison of Elders and also a ton of exotic weapons we can expect in this expansion. So as always if you enjoyed this video and if you're excited for the expansion leave a like rating on the video and uh, let's get into this breakdown. If you want to watch the video, the actual trailer by itself without me talking over it I'll link it in the description for you to check out but here we are breaking it down and pointing out some really cool things about this trailer. So first off we get a look at the Reef and as always I've already covered that on my channel if you want to see that video in full i'll link that as a card on the screen right now for you to check out and also in the description for you to watch but that's basically an in-depth video detailing everything in the reef but we've already seen that and, uh, and then we get a look at one of the first actual story missions in the expansion which is going to be involving scholas which is the actual kel who's trying to take over the houses of the air fallen and he's actually like rallying up some dregs as you can see right here and this is basically the main bad guy for this expansion he's kind of similar to crota but not in a way that you're going to be facing him in a raid you will be facing him in the very like most difficult part of the prison of elders but this guy is pretty much the biggest and baddest guy of the house of walls expansion and he's gonna be who you're seeing quite a lot this is another mission you can see where i think you have to try and intercept him but you obviously managed to escape he like retreats onto his skiff right there and, and then obviously you encounter him at later date and then eventually you manage to encounter him at the very top of the vex citadel in the terminus and i think this is where you manage to finally beat him and this is the final boss battle where you actually get to defeat scholas the kel of kels who's trying to take over and he's basically the main guy that you defeat and of course i think they like reincarnate his soul so that you can face him in the prison of elders he's of course trapped there after you defeat him and and then we can see a little bit more about the prison of elders we can see the bosses uh, this is the boss of the vex kind of group each like room of the prison of elders is different uh, themes for different races there's like one for the vex there's one for the cabal there's one for the fallen and there's one for the hive and uh, each of these rooms uh, have their different bosses that you reach after the fifth wave i believe and of course you can see all the bosses of the different respective races right here we can see a little bit more about trials of osiris and again i've already covered that on my channel so if you want to check that video out i'll link as a card right now and also in the description for you to check out it's a lot of information of how the Charles of Cyrus will work and the rules and how to get in and what kind of rewards you can get in the actual competition so a really cool thing that I'm definitely looking forward to and uh, next up we can see a bit more of the crucible maps and more interestingly we can see actual gameplay of the Lord of Wolves shotgun this is the brand new exotic shotgun which we believe is similar to the Vex Mythic class and the Necrochasm of this expansion it's going to be the hardest thing to unlock and of course it's themed on the race that the expansion is themed off which is the Fallen and it's very similar to the weapon the Shrapnel Launcher which lot the fallen will use and this is actual first person gameplay of the shotgun being used and it fires for pellets very very quickly you can see the ammo it's got right there in the reserve you can see how it shoots uh, one of its perks is that rapidly landing shots sets enemies on fire which is really insane uh, that's definitely going to come in handy for bosses and bullet sponges in the pve aspect uh, but it looks like it also might be useful in the pvp crucible as well we can see a little bit of gameplay of that going on which is pretty cool we can see another one of these strikes which is i think the only brand new strike coming to the house of walls and we have to take out this guy called Tanix, who is basically a, a fallen traitor and you have to take him out you encounter him in different stages uh, then there's a very very strange shot of a actual person using uh, the scorch cannon which is a new weapon you can pick up similar to the sword of crota and you can pick it up and it's in third person and it's got some ammo you can blast people with but uh, this is a new weapon coming in house of Wolves you can pick up and he seems to be in the actual vault of glass which is very strange to be inside the raid and if you notice he's actually facing a captain a level 28 captain and it's of course that's very very strange the raid the vault of glass is of course a very Vex raid and you only face Vex enemies down here. This is the stage where you face the Templar and all that stuff. Uh, so I'm not sure what they're doing down here. My guess would be they probably reuse this area for a one of the missions. So I think this is one of the missions, the story missions that you go through. And I think they've reused this uh, Vault of Glass area. That's that, oh, that's the only explanation I can think of. But it's very, very strange to see kind of fallen down here in the Vault of Glass. And then we can see upgrading the old weapons such as Fate Bringer and the like, old Vault of Glass gear. And uh, then there's a really cool shot that I like of three different Guardians wearing three gear from pretty much three different eras. So you've got the very beginning of the game. You've got the Vault of Glass gear and he's got the Fate Bringer and Praise Revenge on his back. So that's all like launch date gear. And then you've got the Dark Below gear. We've got a Warlock using the Song of Eyu and the Fang of Eyu. So that's all Dark Below expansion one. And then you've got expansion two and you've got this Titan who's wearing all Prison of Elders and a bunch of Queen's gear. So you can see his weapons and his armor. So this kind of shows three different stages and eras of the game and that you can be level 34 with all of this stuff and you can upgrade all of it to either attack level 365 or to light level 34 of course which is the new level cap and so you can basically see in this shot of how every single piece of gear can be upgraded to be completely relevant in the new expansion we can see some garden using some sort of very strange pike looking vehicle which is perhaps new uh, another shot which shows a new sniper rifle which i believe is one of the queen stuff the blue kind of theme and, and then we can also see one of the most interesting shots which is three new exotics coming to the house of walls we can see a, a fallen wire rifle which is a sniper rifle we can see the lord of all shotgun which is in the middle and we can also see a brand new exotic called the dregs 
Promise. And this is an exotic sidearm. The sidearm is a new category of weapon that's in the special category and of course takes special ammo. And sidearms actually have infinite ammo when you respawn. Every time you respawn, their ammo gets restocked. So that's kind of like a benefit of the sidearm. But they're basically like miniature hand cannons or pistols. And they're a new category of weapon. And uh, these reside in the special category. And you can see another example of a sidearm in the middle left column right there. That is a Queen's pistol. And it's again, it's another sidearm that's arc damage. So we can see a brand new exotic weapon, the Drex Promise, in addition to that uh, Lord of Wolf shotgun and the line rifle, which we don't know what exactly it's called, but it's, it's a very similar weapon to the Fallen use, of course. Then we can see a bit of detail about Drex Promise, some of its perks and kind of how it works, and of course some of the upgrade parts. And then we can see another shot of three Guardians using these three weapons. So I believe these are the three exotic weapons you're going to be getting in the expansion. There could be more, or there could be uh, some other ones that haven't been announced yet, but so far these are three exotic weapons that we have in the House of Wars expansion. And uh, then finally we can see a really cool shot of a bunch of Guardians like parkouring and doing like a jumping puzzle over to the Terminus, which is where you face Skolas in the final mission. So it looks like there might be some jumping puzzle, some to Vault of Glass involved in this. But this has been a ton of information about the House of Wolves expansion. If you guys are excited, give it a like rating. Then in the comment section, which part are you most excited for? Which kind of did you like the look of? And uh, of course, subscribe for more videos on this channel. So hopefully you have enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.